All right, welcome back to the Hey Mom, Hey Dad YouTube channel, the place where my wife and I, who've been married for over 22 years, have eight children ranging from age eight to 20 years old, help people learn how to adult, adulting. You no, know, it's, a, it's a novel thing for a lot of people, but God wants you to grow up, become a man and a woman. And all this is from a Christian perspective. Today, I wanna to talk to you about, as a Christian, as a man of God, as a husband and a father, I want my children to take the Great Commission seriously. The Great Commission is to go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation, making disciples of all the nations. And so, if I'm going to take it seriously, I have to provide opportunities for my children to engage in the Great Commission. And so this morning, I took my two oldest daughters, 18 and 16 years old, out to preach at the abortion clinic. And we also uh, went out to spy out the land, so to speak, at an area around Atlanta that's heavily Spanish-speaking, to try to find a spot where we can preach the gospel to Spanish-speaking people. Um, I've really been working on Spanish over the last over two years, maybe two and a half years now. Um, it's just mostly been Duolingo, which is it's over, over 880 days straight now I've been doing it. Um, so I'm not really good Spanish, I'm not fluent or anything like that, but hey, you gotta, you gotta start somewhere. And the Lord has really been compelling me to do that. And then my 16 year old daughter, she, she believes the Lord is calling her to be a missionary at some point in time in a Spanish speaking country. And so you gotta get her prepared for that. I gotta get her ready for that. Uh, but I'd be neglect, neglectful as a father if I tell my children that they have an obligation to preach the gospel, to share the gospel with others, but then I refuse or I don't take the opportunity, I don't make provision for them to go actually go out and do it. So my question for you today, those who are um, my brothers and sisters in Christ, those, those parents out there who are Christian parents, and you have Christian children, are you giving them opportunities to share the gospel? A lot of times these days, and I'm not an exception to this, uh, Christian families are homeschoolers. We're homeschooling, been homeschooling since my oldest son was five or six years old. And in the midst of homeschooling, oftentimes you just kind of get stuck at home. You're just at home all the time because you're homeschooling. Uh, you go out to the grocery shopping, you go out to go to the store, uh, but then you're staying at home for the most part besides that. Well, make opportunity for your children to be witnesses. Take them places where they can hand out gospel tracts. If you want good gospel tracts, go to my gospel tract store, which is gospeltract.org, G-O-S-P-E-L-T-R-A-C-T.org. In my opinion, the best gospel tracts out there, but I'm not biased or anything. So when it comes to your children fulfilling the Great Commission, it, would be, it wouldn't be just or fair, since you are the one who has control over your children, where they go, where they come from, where they go, and, they're, and all their doings. Uh, it, would be, it wouldn't be just if you expected them to share the gospel, but then give them a chance to do it. And so let me give you some tips about this. You can get some gospel signs. I have tons of them on my website, gospeltrack.org. Um, you can get some gospel tracks, and then when you go to the store, I know this is hard, especially if you have a big family, they've been there and done this. Uh, it's hard to focus on children, focus on shopping, and focus on being a witness at the same time. But, you know, just because something's hard doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. And so I would encourage you, get some gospel tracks, and early on, even if they're like, say they're not to the state of accountability, not to the age of accountability yet, they're very innocent, but they want to pass out tracks. You better believe my two-year-olds are passing the tracks, and my four-year-olds and five-year-olds are passing out tracks. They're probably the best ones to do it, because people almost never reject gospel tracks from them. They'll pass out tracks. Get some more gospel signs. Find a busy street corner in a downtown area where there's people walking around, or a busy intersection where there's lots of cars driving by, and hold up some signs. I mean. So many people, if you were to sit there for five or ten minutes in a busy vehicle intersection and just count the cars that drive by and the people who are in them and just see 
on average over five, 10 minutes, how many people are gonna see your sign? It's gonna be a lot. And besides tracks and, and signs, encourage them to say something. You know, as they're passing out tracks in the grocery store to people who you're walking by, encourage them to speak up and say something. Not just to hand a track and run away, although that's not, you know, that's not bad. I'm just saying, encourage them to speak up. Say, trust Jesus, or Jesus died for you, or God commands you to repent and to follow Jesus. Just very simple sayings like that. Everybody has to start somewhere. Now, once your children become Christians, uh, it's good to encourage them to understand what their testimony is, you know, how they got saved. And that's how they can share that with others, which can tell those people how to be saved as well. There's also a lot of events. Excuse me, my throat was dry. There's a lot of events you can go to, festivals, parades. And I'm not even talking about homosexual parades. I'm not talking about bringing children to that. That's a very uh, different situation, in my opinion. But it's, there's lots of uh, things out there that are more family-friendly that you can take them to. But I'll just tell you this, that if you tell your children they need to obey the Great Commission, and you know what the Bible says about that in Matthew 28, Mark 16, and also 2 Timothy 4.2, you know what the Bible says about these things, and, and you don't give them an opportunity to do it. You know what you're, you're communicating to them? You're communicating to them that it's not really that important. That's precisely what you're communicating to them. And so we don't want to be hypocrites as parents. If we say something, we want to mean it. We want to say what we mean and mean what we say. And so the Great Commission from our King of Kings and Lord of Lord Jesus Christ, if it really is that important, you must give them opportunities. If all I do is sit at home most of the time, and then when you go out, they don't do anything like that, well, you can't say that you or they care about the Great Commission. So just some thoughts today I had in my mind as I was taking my girls out and wanted to share these things with you guys to help you be a better parent, a better father and mother to your children, and to train them up in the way they should go, that when they're old, they will not depart from it. All right, God bless you guys. Have any questions, any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, please drop a comment down below. Look forward to interact with you guys and hear from you guys. God bless.